Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm going to talk to you today about something that I had to learn. Here we go. Back to the boat here. I got uh, into a little bit of a, an issue last week and lost my axle. Well, come to find out, the axle broke because the trailer is about 20 years old. <laughs> so it's clearly a lot more worn down and less maintained than the boat itself. And the axle was one of the first things to go. You can see I got a brand new axle with these nice bearing buddies on it now. Brand new lug nuts and, and brake lines. Which brings me to my next topic. This is the whole point of this video and that is trailer surge brakes. Something I didn't understand. I'm gonna explain how trailer surge brakes actually work. You come to find out, and I'm learning as I go here, but most boat trailers have surge brakes. Not very many of them have electric brakes. And what a surge brake is, essentially is, when you hit the brakes on your vehicle, the boat presses up against the back of your car or truck or whatever it is that you're pulling. I use an SUV, okay? And what it does is it compresses this piston here, pushes this back, which activates a master cylinder in here, which squeezes brake fluid through the lines back to your wheels and to the brake calipers, okay? And that works really, really well, except when you're trying to back your boat up a hill because then the weight of the boat and trailer are now pressing up against your tow ball on your vehicle and compress the cylinder, locking the brakes on the, on the boat, which won't allow you to, to back up. And so how they, how they remedy that, as you'll notice, most new boat trailers have this five wire setup. Okay, a five pin connector. Um, and, you know, you, you can hook it up to a four way. In fact, I did have it hooked up that way. I'll show you the, I'll show you really quickly the adapter that I used to have on this before I had some work done. There you, there you see this seven way attached to a four way connector. This enabled my brake lights and my turn signals to work, but didn't do a thing about preventing the surge brake lock. Notice how this seven way pin doesn't have a center pin. Okay, first of all, let me draw your attention to that. So what I did is I had to go get a new adapter. This one does have the center pin. And this was a five-way or a four-way adapter to a seven-way, okay? So five-pin or four-pin to a seven-way, whereas this one was only a four-pin to, well, seven-way, except it's not technically a seven-way, right, if it's missing the center pin. Anyway, so what happens is, now that I've got that hooked up to this five pin connector, now when I hit my brakes, it works normally. And when I put it into reverse, my reverse lights will engage and activate this center pin, which sends an electric signal to a solenoid in here, which locks this surge from compressing, okay? It won't allow it to compress and therefore won't allow it to activate the brakes when I'm in reverse, okay? So that's how that's supposed to work. Now, another thing I wanted to point out, and most of you probably already know this. This is another thing that I had to learn. But when I had my old actuator before my brakes were replaced because mind you I had this brand new actuator installed with a brand new master cylinder 
brand new brake lines, brand new axle because of my axle problem, right? Well, it had one of these on it. And the guy that I bought the boat from insisted that what it's supposed to do is to squeeze through this hole right here when you keep, when you lock it down and this, you know, and that's supposed to, and that's supposed to keep, keep this from popping back up. That's what he insisted. And that was my safety system. Well, let me tell you that that is not safe. In fact, that is completely false. Not only is it completely false, but it's also extremely dangerous. Okay? That's not what that's for at all. We have this pin here. And that's what the pin is for. Okay? The pin keeps that closed. So this won't come up. Okay? It's completely locked. What this is, is another safety device, which if improperly used, can cause catastrophic damage. This is what they call a breakaway cable. So in other words, if for some reason I'm driving down the road, and for whatever reason, this pops open, I don't think it can, especially with the pin in it, and it's brand new, but if for whatever reason, this happened to pop loose and this detached from my vehicle. This hook here would still be attached to my vehicle. This is where this goes. Just like these safety cables, it attaches to the same place on your car or truck or SUV. So that if for some reason the trailer were to break free from the vehicle, this pull cord would pull out of the actuator and immediately lock the brakes. It would also completely ruin the actuator, but the boat wouldn't fly down the freeway at 70 miles an hour and crash into another vehicle. This is a safety device. If, it, if you ever accidentally left this attached to your vehicle, and then pulled away from your boat with this still attached, you would effectively break your actuator and it would result in a very expensive repair. Just an FYI, I had to pay over a thousand dollars for a new actuator and brake lines. Now, it's probably a bit too much. I probably paid too much but that's what it is. Anyway, anyway, I hope that was helpful. It certainly was information to me. I, I didn't know. I'm a new boat owner, as I've explained to you guys before, but it's these little tidbits of wisdom that we pass along. Anyway, um, thanks very much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe. That being said, this vlog is over and I'm out.